Hi there, it's Matt here, and this is just a short tutorial video to show you how I uh, export GIFs from Mathematica, how you can do too to add to a website. So when I'm experimenting on a notebook, I'll have a manipulate usually, like this, and here the variable A sort of defines what happens in the animation. So this is an animation which shows um, it kind of visualizes the um, function x to the power of a or z to the power of a uh, as a complex function on a complex plane. So it's just a random thing I made quickly. And uh, so, how do we go from having a manipulate to uh, having a animation? So the idea I do is to take out the contents of the manipulate and define a function frame, frame of A equal to the inside of the manipulate and that means we can still have the manipulate we had before if we manipulate the function frame uh, in the same domain as before so we just have the same thing here but now we can uh, make a list frames which has all the um, frames that we want so we call frame A from not up to 3 and then um, if we wanted to have an uh, animation with 50 different um, uh, frames then we'd make the interval 3 over 50 so, if, so like that running that will compute where all the frames are like so for example if we look at you know, what the first 5 elements of that list it's this, 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 this. So the, those are all the frames that we want. So now use the export function. Uh, export, then you can do insert file path and go into. Um, hmm, wait, I'll just type it in. Users mat desktop and then what you want to call it dot gif. So example dot gif the file name and then the frames and that will run. It might take a little while, but that so all you need to do is the file name and then a list which has all of the um, images and you see here it's pop it's made this here. So that's the. Uh, fully rendered animation. Now what I will do next is open it with that uh, in Photoshop and that's just so I can make sure that it, it will um, be good to put up on a website so in particular Tumblr will, um, will ask you to uh, make sure it's not too big uh, in size and that well it's good in general to make sure it's compressed. So if you have it here you Sometimes you might want to say, like on the last frame, uh, whoops, on the last frame, uh, change the duration to something longer so it pauses at the end. Like, you know, stuff like that. So you can edit it a little bit. Oops, I think I accident. Did I drag one frame? Yeah, I guess I think I accidentally. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, so if you do file and then save for web, uh, then change some settings here. This is an important number here. It says at the moment it says two hundred seventy-eight kilobytes. That's that's like a good size already, and that's quite low because it's down to sixteen colors. Um, you can also change the size of the image here, which will make it lower to... Isn't it? Uh, yeah, right. That boosted up the size of the image for some reason. Maybe it was... Any, anyway, like, 400 kilobytes is fine. So, now if we um, save the GIF back onto the desktop, then uh, 
you know, it's there. If I accidentally dragged one frame from the end back to the a couple of bits, so it has a bit of a stutter. But um, anyway, that gives you the idea. So the the key basically is to do export the file name then a list which has all the frames that you want to put one after the other. And this should all be the same dimensions. Um, otherwise the GIF won't work properly. But hopefully that was useful for some of you. And until next time, goodbye.